In this study, we introduce an augmented reality near eye display, dubbed Retinal 3D, which is based on the virtual retinal display. We introduce one of the key concepts of this work, localized light field scanning via pupil tracking. The holographic optical element is used as an image combiner of the system, to obtain superior optical transparency with the thin thickness. The system generates the light field consists of sharp laser beams, in the small area of the pupil location. The light field enters the pupil to be directly projected on the retinal plane, and a 3D virtual image can be seen by the user. When the user changes the focus of the eye, displayed image is also focused or blurred consistent to the focus distance. Generated focus cues are valid over large depth range since laser beams are shaped to have the large depth of field. Also, when user changes the gaze direction, the localized light field moves as well, following the movement of the pupil via real-time pupil tracking. Pupil tracked light field generation reduces the needed information or computation load significantly. Also, it provides the room for an eye to move around, overcoming the important drawback of retinal projection type displays. To implement the dynamic eye box, we utilize the angular tolerance of the holographic optical element. When the incident angle on the holographic optical element is changed, it generates shifted focus point with a certain tolerance. The incidence angle is controlled by a fast steering mirror. This video shows the localized light field generation with real-time pupil tracking. The light field can be generated by using a single laser scanning projector, temporally multiplexed with a fast steering mirror. Or multiple projectors can be utilized to enhance the frame rate. The pupil tracker, fast steering mirror, and the laser scanning projector are controlled by a main control computer. The pupil tracking cameras coordinate and the steering system should be calibrated with the physical coordinate of user's pupil position. The image can be compensated with applying the acquired inverse distortion map to the displayed image. This video shows the display result of the single laser scanning projector prototype. A dragon image is displayed at the distance of 60 cm. This video shows the display result of the multi-projector prototype. High frame rate is enabled using the multiple projectors. We present the display result, simulating larger blurring effect or high numerical aperture, by sampling the viewpoints more sparsely. Both images show appropriate blurring effect. We show the experimental results showing the effectiveness of the dynamic eye box. Without the pupil tracking, severe vignetting or total image loss occurs when the pupil moves. By adopting the dynamic eye box with pupil tracking, the image can be observed in a large eye box area, as shown in the right video. We present a demonstration of the full-color augmented reality. A penguin object and a sculpture object are located at 33 cm and 2 m respectively. Displayed images show appropriate focusing or blurring effects. The camera is focused at 33 cm, or 3 diopters. It shows the result when the camera is focused at 2 m. We have demonstrated the feasibility of pupil tracked light field scanning, with optical design of prototype ARHMDs, 
using a holographic image combiner. The prototype achieves a high field of view, high resolution, moderate eye box, and focus cues as well as high transparency and thin thickness. We hope this study could open new possibilities for realization of the future AR display.